Darren, first of all, congratulations on winning goal of the decade. There's no trophy, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, it's fair to say you're a bit of a Palace legend. Is it nice to know the fans still hire you in such high esteem? Absolutely, yeah. You know, I've made uh, no secret that I absolutely love the club. You know, it was the, the best time of my career. Not a bad effort! Oh, what a goal by Darren Ambrose! Absolutely stunning strike! When times weren't great, at the club, it was still brilliant to be there, and uh, you know, one of them coming from the local rivals as well, and the, the fans took to me straight away. So it's you know, this is a massive honour for me and, and my family, and I'm absolutely delighted. These are all the goals that you beat. First one is I think the first one's yours. Aaron Ambrose, what an absolute! It's one of my favourites. Right there. Oh, I used to do that in training. He's when he was manager. He's my favourite player. He's so classy. Yeah. Here we go. Which one's this one? Oh, I voted for this one. Just keeps on going. Yeah, we was unlucky not to win that. Marie! Oh, what a goal this is. Wonderful hit. Middlesbrough was that. What Ken likes to play with. Well, he never did that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's brilliant. Great guy. It's Mile Yedinak to strike it! Oh. I was allowed on then when I left. <laughs> Great goal. Paddy McCarthy. There's Derby. Yeah, you told me about this one. <laughs> Great goal. <laughs> Just a clearance. So, going back to that game at Old Trafford, great night for Palace fans. What do you remember about it and the goal? I remember being on the bench to start off with and uh, being really disappointed to be on the bench. We was going up there, we was underdogs. We had to defend a, uh, a nil-nil and, and try and nick something. So I understood that decision totally. So I stayed behind on the Friday and you know, I was hitting them from around that same distance. You know, I've, I've never really said this before. And they were blazing everywhere. You know, I was clearing the fence, the trees behind. And, and then, you know, when, when I, I think yeah, I come on at half time, um, it just come natural, you know. It seemed, because I'd done so many of them the day before, I got in that position, I didn't really think and I hit it, and it weren't, again, it weren't till the end that, that I knew how it was taken from everyone else. You know, I had a lot of messages um, talking about what Gary Neville had said in the studio, and, you know, then I looked at, I watched it back, and I thought, well, I, I should probably have not have been shooting from that distance. Doesn't look any danger, that's 40 yards. Oh, my word, Darren Ambrose. I remember hitting one in the league game before that, and I, I must have hit Rose Ed as well. So, you know, it was one of those that I just uh, hit it as hard as I could and it went in a, a really good place. It's a great, it was a great moment for me, you know, and it's a bit like everywhere I go, you know, I'm remembered for that goal. You know, there's not many places I go now that someone doesn't mention that, that goal that, that as it's known now. So, you know, I, I scored a lot of goals for Palace, you know, and if it, for myself, a lot of um, important goals. But that one was my favourite as well. So, you know, like I said, it's, it's a massive honour to, to, to be voted number one. Do you think that night was extra special because of the, the years that had gone on before with going into administration? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've made no secret. And I think uh, everyone that played in, in that team in that era are heroes in my eyes, you know, because I think if it wasn't for the team that played that year, would the club be where they are now? You know, every, everyone in that in that team, in that era when his administration helped the club be where they are now. And I always felt the club deserved to be there, to be where they are now. And I'm so pleased looking at them every week and, you know, I'm, I'm hoping they get in Europe this year. You know, I'm, I'm wishing them they win every game. So they're always there in, in my heart and, and I'm always looking for their results. And I'm just pleased they're, they're doing so well now. And another reason you go down the history is scoring that game at Hillsborough that really kept the club alive. Not, not, just, not just that yeah. season. Um, how tense was that game? Um, not as tense as it should have been, I think. Not in my eyes, you know. It was more exciting for us because, you know, that year Sheffield Wednesday were down there on merit. You know, they, they should have been where they were playing in that final game, whereas we shouldn't. You know, we, I remember taking off against Newcastle and we was in seventh, eighth place and landing to minus 10 points and, and we was in a relegation scrap, so. We shouldn't have really been, I think, at the end of the day, the, the team that deserved to stay up did. So we just treat it as another game, and we had a lot of leaders in that team, Sean Derry, Clint Hill, 
Butterfield, McCarfield, people like that, Sparona, you know, I can name them all. You know, when you think about it now, it was a, a tense game, you know, and we should have been ner more nervous than we was. Fans are pretty special that day as well. Unbelievable. Turning up, you know, there was three or four thousand people when we turned up on the bus and to see, you know, to score down that end as well for me was was really good. I mean, Alan Lee, you know, he goes on and on about his goal. No one remembers his goal, but no, he, he scored, but he scored down the other end. So for me to score in the end where all the all the Palace faithful were, were, were was brilliant for me. And But, you know, they're, they're up there with the best fans in the country and they still are, you know, that's, everyone says it when you watch Match of the Day and, you know, here in our world and they sell out every away game. So it, you didn't expect nothing else from them. I'll, I'll never forget that day. It was it was up there as one of my favourite games of my career to date. And, you know, like I said, I'll never forget that. You got 20 goals that season. Why do you think Neil Warnock and Palace got the best out of you? I think trust was a big issue. You know, for a player who is an attacking player, a flair player, so-called flair player, you know, you're going to have quiet games. You call them luxury players these days. Yeah, yeah, they? exactly, yeah. <laughs> and um, I think we had a couple you know, I think Victor Moses was there as well, Freddie Sears was there and, you know, he just trusted that we have a quiet game or two, we're going to come good. So he, he kept the faith with, with us and, you know, I started my first start in the cup, I scored two goals and I just kicked on from there really. So confidence is a big, a big thing in a footballer. When you start well at a club, coming from the local rivals, like I said, you know, it was, it was nice to get that, that two goals up and running and then and kick on. Back to modern day, have you had a chance to see Palace play much at all? I haven't, no. I don't get an opportunity. You know, I've moved up, up to Suffolk, so... But I will, you know, I, I want to. I want to make that, you know, something that I want to do in the future. And, you know, if I, if I move on to, to commentary, etc., at the end of my career, then, you know, they're the ones I want to be going to watch because they're always entertaining games. And, you know, I, like I said, I always look out for the, the scores on, on Soccer Saturday. and. You know, my, my wife does as well, to be honest, which, you know, the, I've played for a lot of clubs and I think Ipswich and Palace are the two that I, I look out for and she's always texting me when, when goals are going in, so it's, it's nice. How is it at Colchester so far? Really good. Like, I mean, looking around the place, facilities are great. You know, I think we're, we're it's looking bright for us this year. I think we're, we're going to shock a few people. Because you've been around it feels like so long because you started so young at Ipswich, it feels like you should be about 45, but you're only 31, <laughs> yeah, younger than me. Yeah, a lot of people say that to me actually, <laughs> like, what are you still doing here? Did you play when you was eight? <laughs> you know, but no, I, uh, I'm still going and I still feel, feel strong, fit and, you know, as, uh, I want to play as long as I can. Thanks for talking to us, Darren, and maybe see you at Sirs Park. Yeah, thank you very much. Coach. Thanks everyone for voting as well. Thank you. Cheers. Where's the trophy? Is it hidden? Is it under there? <laughs>